I'm going to change some of the project's file names. Open Finder, go to your desktop, and open Try10. This Try10 is the virtual environment directory. Inside this directory, there is the Django project folder called Try10. I'm going to make this a little less confusing. Change the name of the Django project folder from Try10 to SRC. SRC stands for source. In the virtual environment, try10 directory, create a new folder. Call it static. The static directory will contain the project's static files. I'll discuss this more later. Make sure you have installed Sublime Text. Once you have, open it in the application. Then, from the top menu bar, click Project Save Project As. Navigate to the desktop. Click on Try 10, save this project as try10.sublime-project, and then hit Save. Still in Sublime, from the top menu bar, click Project, Add Folder to Project. Navigate back to the virtual environment directory called Try 10, hold Command, and select both Static and Source. Hit Open. These folders are now in the sidebar. Open your terminal, make sure your virtual environment is activated, then navigate into the root of the project. Run ls. I see manage py, so I know I'm in the root of the project. I'm going to create a new Django app. Django apps perform a specific function. For example, if I wanted to allow users to contact us, I would create an app called contact. To create a new application in Django from the root of your app, run python manage.py start app profiles. I call this app profiles, but you can call it whatever you like. To run this command, press enter. Great. The application profiles was automatically created. In Finder, navigate to the directory try10 slash source. I can see a folder called Profiles. This is the app I just made in Terminal. I'm going to create the project's first model. This model will help the app store data. Open up your Sublime Text, and from the left menu, open Source, Profiles, Models.py. Then type Class Profiles, and in brackets, Models.model, end bracket, colon. Then type Name equals models dot car field bracket max underscore length equals 120 close bracket then you're going to type def underscore unicode underscore bracket self end bracket and under that return self dot name in this model profile, the model has a field called name. The Unicode returns the profile name. In future videos, I'll use this model to help me store user data. I'm going to discuss some Django settings. So open source, try 10, settings.py. Scroll to line 16 where you'll see base underscore dir. I'll explain the base directory path step by step. First. The base underscore dir path starts by getting the file. The file in this case is settings.py. Base dir then checks what directory settings.py is in, which is try10. The final part of the base dir path checks what directory try10 is in, which is at src. The source directory is the root of the project because manage.py is there. To sum up the base directory path is connecting to the root of the project where manage.py is. Here I'll briefly describe some settings. Scroll to line 26. When the site goes live, I'll turn debug to false. If I don't set debug to false, users may see error reports. For now, I'll leave debug set to true because while I develop locally, I want to see error reports. Next, scroll to line 28. When the site is live, allowed underscore hosts will be set to my domain name. 
Next, scroll to line 33. Installed apps is where I tell Django what apps are going to be used in the project. In Installed apps, add the Profiles app. Type Profiles. I've created the Profiles app, made a model for it, and installed it. I'm ready to migrate my Profiles model to the database. Open up your terminal and run python manage.py make migrations. Then run python manage.py migrate. In the future, remember that anytime a model is created or modified, python manage.py make migrations, then python manage.py migrate must be run. I'll add a new field to the open profile model. So in Sublime, open source profiles models.py. Then type into line 8 description equals models dot text field open bracket close bracket. I added a new text field to the profile model. I called this text field description. Save models py. Because I just modified a model, I need to migrate the changes to the database. So open your terminal and run python manage.py make migrations. Now I see an error message. It says I'm trying to add a non nullable field description to profile without a default. If a field is non nullable, it can't be empty in the database. We'll discuss this a little more later. To fix this error, I'm given a few options. Option number one says it can provide me with a default value. Option number two says quit and let me add a default to profiles models py. On your keyboard, press two, then press enter. In Sublime, open profiles models py and type at the end of line eight, open bracket null equals true, close bracket. If null is set to true, then the description field can be empty in the database. Now I don't have to specify a default description value. This is one way to deal with the error. However, I want the description field to have a default, so we'll delete null equals true. Next, type in default equals description default text. the description field has a default value, I can migrate my updated model to the database. Open terminal and run python manage.py make migrations, then run python manage.py migrate. The migration ran without any errors. My database has now been successfully updated. In this tutorial I created a model called profile. Profile has two fields, a care field called name, and a text field called description. Remember, whenever changes are made to a model, you need to migrate those changes to the database.